In bending illusions to perplexing puzzles, he's the mastermind behind some of Hollywood's coolest tricks. David Kwong was the lead magic consultant for the popular film Now You See Me and is the secret code advisor on NBC's Blind Spot, even creating puzzles for the New York Times crossword. And his new book out today called Spellbound, David reveals the seven principles of illusion. And we're about to get a test. Good morning. Good morning. A test and a taste, really. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I said we're about to get a test. I meant taste. Same yeah. difference, kind of, really. With this book, yes. if you read this book, you can learn how to command people's attention, mm -hmm. misdirect people, oh. take advantage of the brain's assumptions, <laughs> okay. and get one, two, three steps ahead of everybody else. That's I a like sell. That. And I thought I'd do a trick for you involving getting ahead, and I got ahead with that envelope two okay. weeks ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mailed that from Canada. Ooh. I was up in Vancouver at the TED Talk conference. I, I speak at the TED That'd conference. Good. Nice. And it's postmarked, it's sealed, it's been with your producers the entire time. I haven't gone near it. Mm -hmm. That's my prediction. We're going to come back to that. So okay. it's not open. It's not open. It's not open. All right. Taped and everything. I'm going to okay. do a card trick. And okay. because I think that illusion is the science of fooling your brain, I have a deck with the periodic table of the elements on it. You can see we have uh, Einsteinium as the eight of hearts, Nobelium, uh, Presodymium, that's a weird one. Ooh, yeah. And uh, I'm sure you've done this before. We're going to do pick a card, any card, okay. of course. So, uh, Al, I'll just start with you. If you just say stop anytime you like. Okay, stop. Okay, I'm going to give you one card. And okay. if you say stop again, actually, say stop. Okay. We'll get a little further down. There's a couple of cards for you. Okay. And uh, if you would just say stop anytime okay. you like. Stop. Say stop. Okay, cool. And then one, we're going to do it again. Just say stop, stop again. Oh, already. Well, hold on. There we go. Ready? Okay. Yes, stop. Okay, closer to the top, though. I like that. All right, take a look at your cards. Uh, don't worry about the pictures. Just remember, like, the numbers. I know three cards is hard. Just remember, like, a three and a king okay. and a queen, okay. right? Okay. And I'm going to take them back. Okay. And I'm going to place them into the deck. And you can see I'm not marking where they're going. I'm just tossing them in there. I'm not mm -hmm. bending any of the corners. And I'm going to try to track all of your playing cards. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shuffle because I'm an honest magician. Oh. And uh, let's see if I can find each of your cards. So the first one, watch this. Okay. The first one, if I cut right out of the middle, I get the king of hearts. I believe that was the first card. Alan, okay. you also had, um, I have a couple cards here. Watch this. Two cards at the same time, just like this. Should be the, you have the uh, eight of spades and the ace of clubs. I believe you had those two cards. Uh, I'm going to try to get uh, two more here. I'm going to get your first card. Watch this. I'm going to get one card right out of the middle, and that is your next card, the five of spades, I believe. Wait. Yes. These are mine. Those are yours. That's yes. yours. You also had, I think, uh, you have one card that's hanging out here by my elbow. Check this out. That's one card. You also had the eight of spades. That's a very strong card. And for the last one, uh, right here on my, on my arm, watch as I use my fabric of my suit. Watch that ten of hearts okay. just changes like that to the six of spades. Wow. But I made a prediction before. I made a prediction. Al, would you slice open the envelope? You have a... Uh, 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 you have a envelope slicer. Can you get in there? I think. Uh, this side? Yep, that's fine. Whatever, whatever you can do to get that open. I have a pair of scissors if that's hard. I was going to say that's to do. It? Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to get right in here. And I want you to pull out the piece of paper that's inside. My prediction. Yes, is me holding. A bar of chocolate. Thank you very much. No, but look, but look, look, look right here. Look, the elements you chose. Yes. We have C for carbon, H for hydrogen, O for oxygen, cobalt, <gasps> lanthanum, and chocolate. Oh, and that spells chocolate. chocolate. And one more thing. Okay. I said that the brain, the brain makes assumptions. Yes. And something might look like a book. It might be the size of a book. Uh -huh. But I brought a special treat for you guys. It's actually a solid bar of chocolate. Got some white chocolate pages there. A delicious magic <laughs> trick for you guys. Amazing. Thank you so much. I will eat wow. my words. No, I'll eat yours. <laughs> How about I eat the chocolate and read the book? We'll do both. That's amazing. That is fantastic. Thank you, wow. David Kwong, thank you so All much. Right. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.